Let's never let boobs come between us again. Here, here. Boobs are stupid. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Look at those ridiculous things. Oh, joy, another whopper of a story to report on the boob beat. Now, when we last checked in on Carrie Luke Lemieux, a.k.a. Kayla Lemieux, a.k.a. Busty Lemieux, the abysmal Halton District School Board had decided to instruct this Zed Cup circus performer to simply stay home and collect a full salary and benefits. That was actually the board's plan B. The original plan involved removing Lemieux from Oakville Trafalgar High School and then shuffling him around to other Halton District schools, hoping beyond hope nobody would notice his inappropriate attire, not to mention mammary glands so huge Pamela Anderson looks flat-chested by comparison. Yes, those Halton educrats are really that stupid. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm big, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong. And there's nothing you can do about it. And so it was that a few months ago, as this sordid saga continued to receive worldwide attention, that Lemieux was instructed to stay at home and watch cartoons. Oh, by the way, we're not kidding about his TV viewing habits. He's actually a big fan of Teletoon, according to a source who lived in his condo. Say, folks, is it just me, or are you also picking up a Silence of the Lambs slash Buffalo Bill vibe here? It rubs the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> yes, you will, precious. You will get the hose. <laughs> Yikes. Incidentally, the scuttlebutt is that Lemieux, a publicity whore if ever there was one, is currently looking for a waitressing job now that he has so much time on his hands. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, how my heart breaks for the hardworking waitresses of Hooters. How do they compete? If you like what you see here on the outside, you're going to love what you'll see on the inside. Anyway, the current school year ends later this month. So the question arises, what happens when the next school year kicks off the day after Labor Day? Well, Rebel News has been tipped off by numerous teachers that Lemieux has been traded, if you will, to another school board, namely the Hamilton Wentworth District School Board. That's where he used to teach, albeit without those fake boobs, which he claims are real, by the way, whatever. Not sure what Halton District got in return on that trade. Perhaps a cup of coffee and a box of day-old Timbits. As well, we've also been told that Lemieux will resume teaching classes come September at Nora Francis Secondary School in Hamilton. We reached out to both the Halton and Hamilton Wentworth District School Boards for confirmation. Alas, representatives at both boards would neither confirm nor deny the rumors. Now, in my experience in this business, when a spokes thingy says they can neither confirm or deny, that's code speak for, yeah, the rumors are true. In any event, the lack of transparency is all about Privacy rights, you see, even though Lemieux's salary is paid for by the ever beleaguered taxpayer. Then again, if a serial killer, rapist, torturer, such as the psychopath Paul Bernardo, is entitled to privacy rights, well then, why not the busty one, too? I also called the principal several times at Henderson Secondary School. I have yet to receive a call back. Well, me thinks the silence is deafening, folks. And naturally, I reached out to Boobzilla himself. Here are the questions I emailed along to him. One, is this information, i.e. that you are switching schools, true? Two, will you be wearing your Zed Cup breasts at this school? Three, will you be wearing the same sort of clothes you wore when you were teaching at Oakville Trafalgar High School? Four, if you choose to dress in such a fashion, how will you respond if parents and students complain? Five, what are the reasons for you going to a different school that is part of a different school board district? And six, finally, 
We also heard that you are looking for a waitressing job in Burlington, given that you have so much time on your hands these days. Is this true? And par for the course, folks, no response from Lemieux. Presumably, he's too busy watching George of the Jungle cartoons or something. In any event, the outrageous accommodation of this grotesque individual continues unabated. It seems that too many woke principals and educrats and even teachers union reps believe that continuing to allow this sick puppy to get up close and personal to minors is a jolly good thing indeed. It's all about inclusion, equity, and diversity, you see. Oh, not for trans people, mind you, but for those suffering from sexual perversions. My heart goes out to the students and parents of Nora Henderson. Maybe Lemieux will reform his ways and attend school without the fake boobs. And maybe he will dress appropriately. But I doubt it. He loves the attention. And he is sick, which means Henderson Secondary, much like Oakville Trafalgar, is about to become a worldwide laughingstock. And still, Ontario's milk toast Minister of Education, Stephen Lecce, remains missing in action. Tell me just which character in this sordid school story offends you the most. Busted, we have proven beyond a shadow of the doubt that Kerry Luke Lemieux is a liar. He did not acquire some sort of condition that caused his breasts to grow into Z cups. That's something he previously stated on the record. So he has to go. As well, so does the Director of Education, Curtis Innes, he, him. He has to be removed from the Halton District School Board as well. Folks, please go to our petition, which is protectthestudents.ca. That's protectthestudents.ca. Put your name to it and let's send a message to the Halton District School Board.